studio with more. Deb. Well, Santa Donna, the theory is that while the economy has been improving, it generally hasn't benefited those with the lowest incomes, and there are just not enough emergency resources to help. So enter panhandling, which advocates for the homeless say makes us all feel uncomfortable, and they add it should. There are certain roadways where you know you will see them, standing in busy intersections, pacing median strips, asking you with their cardboard signs and their eyes for help. We met Ryan on North Avenue. He says he sleeps in an abandoned vehicle and is a graduate of MICA. I'm trying to do what I can to survive. Downtown, we met Michael. I don't have people to say, get that F off my face, uh, F you, you know, stuff like that, you know. Other than that, I don't look at it. I still say have a nice day and keep it moving. Homeless, he begged for $49.77 to pay for this monthly storage unit. It keeps his bedding dry and his shopping cart safe. I'd rather work for it or not ask, you know, because it make me feel, it make my um, self-esteem feel low. And uh, I'd be like disappointed in myself. It is difficult to quantify the number of panhandlers who experts say provide the most visible image of homelessness and poverty. Baltimore City is in the midst of its annual count, but officials estimate that on any given night, more than 2,500 people are homeless. Jean lives in this tent. I'm on the housing list, you know, but they saying eight, seven years. Kevin Lindemood runs health care for the homeless. He discourages the tendency to generalize the reason someone is taken to public begging. We hear that all the time. Most of the people are on drugs or most of the people that I see have a mental illness. That's nonetheless an individual that's in need of help, uh, that's in need of care. And by engaging in a conversation, maybe you can help connect that person to the care that they need. And what about the issue of money, to give or not to give? Lindemood says this is a very personal decision. There are some times when you should, there may be some times when you shouldn't. There are always times when you should acknowledge the humanity of someone who's asking you for help. Michael, whose needs are countless, indicated sometimes just eye contact from a stranger is enough. If you got to talk to me like I'm talking to you, you understand that I'm not that type of person because it looks to be deceiving. You're a human being. Yes, ma'am, first and foremost. Healthcare for the homeless also suggests if you're comfortable with it, offering a bottle of water or a snack, toiletries, or even a pair of clean socks. They also suggest providing phone numbers for intervention, and they offer this pamphlet, which they provide in English and Spanish. We have a link on the WBAL TV mobile app if you would like to get some to keep in your car. Live in the studio, Deborah Wiener, WBAL TV 11 News.